Hello Riff Ruff, welcome back to the channel, I'm Ben. Today I'm gonna show you how to draw your boundaries in VR and mixed reality mode on Quest 3. In fact, in Quest 3 you can choose two types of boundaries for virtual reality and one type for mixed reality mode. The two types for virtual reality are manual boundaries, which are those that you draw with your controller or your hand, just like you did on Quest 2, or automatic drone boundaries, thanks to the depth sensor that recognize your environment and draw the boundary according to your available space. Okay, first of all, open the menu, go into physical space, delete your boundaries so I can show you how to do since the beginning and you will see your pass through. Create new boundaries and the depth sensor will start to scan your game area and draw the boundaries according to your available space in the room. If you agree, just click on continue. If you want to add more boundaries, just simply draw with your controller like this. And when you're done, just click confirm. And that's it. In this case, you automatically drone your boundary and when you will get too close to the limit area, the guardian, which is this grid that you see in front of you, will tell you to go back so you won't hit any walls or any obstacle in the room. There is another way you can draw your boundaries for virtual reality. Open the menu, clicking on the menu button on the right controller, go into the quick actions and click on boundaries. You will see again your pass through, but this time do not click on the continue and click on choose your boundaries. Okay, now you can choose room scale or stationary. Perfect kind of boundaries to play from sitting or if you want to play movies or have some static experience. And that's it. This is the circle for the stationary boundaries, which is about the same length of your arms. Just be sure the circle around you is not touching any other objects around you and then click on confirm. And that's it. In this case, if you spread your arms around you, you will not see the guardian, but if you go out of the boundaries, it will automatically pass into the pass-through and back. If you want to create room scale boundaries, just click again on boundaries, from the quick menu actions again choose your boundaries and this time choose room scale again touch the floor with the controller confirm and then do not click this button here but draw the boundaries with your controller as if you have a pen on your hand or a spray can as you can hear and that's it of course if you want, you can add more space. And remember that in this mode, there is a limit 5 per 5 meters or 10 per 10. I don't remember well. And once you're done, click on Confirm. And you will find yourself again in your virtual environment. And when you are about to reach the limit area, you will receive a visual feedback from your guardian telling you that you are too much close to the limit area. So go back. And this was for the virtual reality uh, boundaries. But what about for the mixed reality one? Again, Open the menu, click in the menu button on the right controller, go on your settings, physical space, and configuration of the space. Now I will delete my previous space, but you have to click on configure or setup. Okay, this is the pass through. Now click on continue, start scanning. And here is the magic happening. This is the sensor that is scanning my play area, my real environment. So what I have to do now, I have to give the time to my headset to scan my environment. And so do not move too fast, otherwise the scan will be bad and your mixed reality experience will not be so precise. So start turning 360 degrees around you, look down, then up slowly, you are the scanner, okay? 
When you hear this sound, it means that the headset recognized enough space, but you can do more. Keep watching around, look down, look up. For now, simply stand on the place, on the spot, and turn around looking up and down. Once you're done, do not click on team. Start to scan every meters of your room. Now I am scanning all the little spaces available. It's very important that you fill all these empty spaces and remember that the depth sensor is a short range so if you if i want to scan that wall i have to go close to that wall so go closer to all the items are inside your room inside your environment and let the depth sensor work so that you will fill all the empty spaces it may be a boring procedure but it's very important to have a very very precise and funny mixed reality experience as you see i have a table here and look what i do i literally watch under the table to let the depth sensor scan all place all the area under the table and the same i do here remember the more empty spaces you feel the more precise your mixed reality will be so be sure to do good job and be sure you have a very well lit room turn on all the lights in your room and fill all the empty spaces overall doors and windows do not watch at your feet because your legs and your feet will be recognized as an object in the space you see and of course same thing for your hands do not place hands and controllers in front I could literally scan all my house so that my entire house is the play area but for now I show you only this room remember to scan the roof the pavement the floor look I want to also scan behind these two coaches when you think you did a good job just click on continue and if you did a good job every walls of your game environment will be recognized and you should not have open walls if you have open walls you can close manually moving the wall boundaries so click continue and that's it this is my real game area recognized by the headset thanks to my depth sensor but it's not all because i can click on complete and i already can play mixed reality experience but if i want more precise game experience i can add furniture so click here and start to add furnitures first of all add doors and windows because you have a limited number of furnitures and objects you can add in the game environment so first the most important are doors click move and click again to confirm this is a door click move and click again to confirm another door click move and click again another door click move and click again and this is a window what else we can add i can add these two couches one two and then i go deep and i say is a coach another couch here here i go deep and i click couch and i confirm this is a table i click I go up, I go to the other side, I go dip, and this is a table. I have another table here, click, I go the other corner, I click again, I go dip, I cover all the table, I click again, and again, 
It's a table. Look, I can do this. I click in this corner. I go up. I click. Again, I go to the opposite corner. I go dip. And this is a shelf. This is a screen. I go up. I move here. Click. Go dip and click again. And it's a screen. And of course, there are so many other objects you can add, but remember, there is a limited number of items you can add. Once you add everything, uh, the items you want, finish to draw your boundaries with all the items. So click this voice here. Now complete, waiting, and that's it. Your mixed reality borders are complete you can play mixed reality experience like first encounters with so many precision that the little monsters will use your environment for example to hide under the table or go over the couch i don't need to scan again so i directly click on play and be ready because my house in few seconds Whoa, will be attacked by strange creatures. Look, the debris. Whoa. No, on my table. Not on my table, please, please. This time he landed on my table. Last time he landed on the ground. Okay, give me the gun. This gun first allow me to watch over my walls. What is this? Stop, stop. He's destroying my wall, my fridge. Ah. Uh, Okay, let the invasion begin. Look, he is walking on my couch. You see. <laughs> Go back in the space. Look, the gun, how interact with my real environment. I'm, sh I'm shooting on the table. And I can break the walls, the ceiling. Look, hiding under the table, hiding behind the couch, you see, hiding behind the couch. Look, look, look. <laughs> and this is why I was telling you to scan the area the best as you can, because if you scan your area very well, your AR experience will be more funny more immersive, interactive, and more precise. And when you finish play First Encounters, you will be prompted to a screen that will show you, uh, if you click here, Explore, will show you more mixed reality experience. Thank you for watching completely the video. Keep following me for more guide and tutorial about this incredible headset. Overall, if you are new, more and more guides are coming, so stay tuned. Subscribe, click on the bell and activate all the notifications so you will be notified when a new video will be released. Thank you for watching completely from Ben and Soul. See you to the next one and see you in VR. Stay safe, Riff Ruff.